Hi, I'm Mark Sassani, and I'm here at St. Joseph's Fine Arts Studio, and we're going to do a painting party pre-demonstration today. And we're going to do the night sky today. And we're going to start out and paint the entire sky first with white to this dark red purple. Okay? And then we'll add some pink to it and then finally some blue. At the very end, we'll add the white stars, okay? But after we have the sky painted, then we're just gonna paint in the dark at the bottom and the trees, and then finally, we're gonna add <coughs> the stars, okay? Now, the colors that we're using today, this is a limited palette. It's a coal palette. And we're working with white, light magenta, a dark red purple, a light blue, and a phthalo green, which is fairly dark. I have a color wheel here, and there's a couple things that could help you when you're trying one of these paintings on your own at home. Uh, the primary colors that you see here, red, yellow, and blue, you mix them to make your secondary colors. Red and yellow give us orange. Yellow and blue give us green. Red and blue give us violet. The left side of the color wheel here, as I have it set up, is cool. And the right side is warm. So all the colors on the right side are warm. All the colors on the left side are cool. At the bottom I have opposites or complementary colors. They're opposite one another on the color wheel. Blue is the opposite of orange. Red, the opposite of green. And yellow is the opposite of violet. Those are really good colors to know, the complementaries. Because if you have a color that's too bright, you add the opposite. If your orange is too bright, add a touch of blue. If your red is too bright, add a touch of green, and vice versa. Same thing with the yellow or the violet. And you could also use complementary colors to make a very interesting brown and the orange and blue brown will be different than the red and green or violet and yellow and those are some uh, important things to remember when you're painting and just think in the color wheel half of it's cool half of it's warm and this painting that we're doing today is a cool painting okay so we're barely even getting to the red it's it's a magenta red violet so everything's cool okay i have just the horizon line and three lines for where my trees are going to be located okay and you could have more trees uh, if you want different size trees it's up to you okay we're going to get started i'm going to take the large brush i'm going to wet it dry out the water and we're going to start at the bottom and work some pure white up part way while it's still wet and then start mixing uh, <clears throat> the dark red violet into it. Okay, a little water and white paint, a little more water so it flows. Still a little thick, I like this, so I gotta make sure I get enough water in there. All right. And I'm going to actually try to stay above the ground because later when I start to paint this, I want the white to be dry and when I put the dark on because I don't want the dark to be lighter. I want it, the ground and the horizon line to be silhouetted against the sky. So I go up about just about a third of the way. You can't really see it much because it's just white paint and it's thin white paint. Okay, now I'm going to take some purple and test it out here and see what we can come up with. And I can see that it's very, the purple is very strong. Okay, so I may end up having to get more white paint out here, but we'll see. All right, I'll take some water to this here. Maybe you can take some of the paint off of my brush because this, this is a little strong, this color. All right. And instead of starting right at the bottom, I'm going to get some of the paint off on my brush. And I'm going to follow the contour 
of the horizon line. There's that swirl. Okay, I'm going to take some of this down. And I'm not trying to copy my original painting precisely. I am just using it as a starting base. I'm going to clean my brush out here because I got too much paint on and I want to bring some of this color down. I could add a little more to that. A little more purple to that. trying to keep that contour that I started with original. Now I'm going to take a brush full of the really strong purple, some water, and let's go right across there with that. And this is a very strong purple, very, very dark. And that's like a really good color for this combination. And while it's wet, I can get a nice blend. And you don't have to make everything a perfect blend. I'm going to go up again with some uh, dark purple right across the top and work my way down. I'm not so much worried about the contour up here because I'm just covering that area. If I really wanted that to be super dark up there, I could take a little shot of the phthalo, the green, the dark green. And you'll see when I put that up here, it's going to be really dark. Okay, the only thing is, is I'll have to clean my brush because that dark will, that green will go into the purple down below. So I clean my brush, mostly clean it. Now I'm going to take some fresh purple without the green mixture in it, just the purple, and come down here a little bit. Get a little water and blend them together. my brush stroke, I will try to follow the contour when I'm blending, even though you can't really see much difference there. I'm going to take a little shot of dark purple in here. Slightly different than my original design. I like that. And I think I'm ready or some pink and rather than fight that brush that's loaded up with paint I'm gonna wet a slightly smaller brush take some pink and a little bit of white paint and a little bit of the light purple mixture get some of that paint off of there and we'll see what happens when we place this in here. My paint at the bottom is starting to dry. I, I have I have enough paint on my brush, so um, I just added some white to it. This is so wet, I think I'm going to work on silhouetting the ground in before I try the light blue, so that maybe it'll dry a little bit. Because when I do that light blue, I don't want to blend as much. I just want to, I do want to blend, but I don't want to blend it with the purple. I actually 
actually wish this would dry a little more, but we may just have to work with the wet on wet. Some of it's drying, some of it's not. I like that so far. Okay. Now, clean my brush up really good. I'm going to go back to the, the big brush, which had the dark in it, and I'm going to mix up some green, the dark green, with that violet. With the dark violet, and that'll almost be sort of like a, like a black. For all practical purposes, it is a black. turning it upside down so that I could uh, get at that a little easier. And I do that a lot when I'm painting. I approach the painting from different positions to make it easier for myself. That's a good mixture to add purple to a green when you want a dark. That's a really good idea. I, I find that works really well when you need a, a real dark green or you need a dark purple. Maybe that's okay that that's a little soft against the sky. Okay, but before I do the trees, I got to get my light blue in there. Okay, so we're going to flip this over. If we were doing an actual painting party and we had the time, I would paint the sides of the canvas so then you wouldn't need um, you wouldn't need a frame. You can just hang it just as is if you paint the sides. We used to do that in college. Paint the sides of the canvas so you didn't have to spend money on a frame. Get my thumb hit bit right there, so I gotta soften that up. Okay, we're ready to try the blue. And I have my palette covered, so I'm just taking a plate here. And I'm gonna just, first I'm gonna try a little bit of just straight blue, light blue, straight light blue, which is pretty strong. And put it in there right next to the sky here with a bit of dark up here. I like that. And one coming back the other way. And then bring this down. I'm going to clean my brush up here and try to blend that a bit. There's still a little blue in here, but now I'm going to be careful. I just use the very edge of the brush to get this blend. I'm not going over the paint and I'm not pressing hard. I'm just going right over the edge. If I lose my blow, I will come back in later and add a little more to it. I'll do that right now. looking good. Not bad. Okay. Let's add a few brush strokes of this blue elsewhere. It adds a nice movement to the sky a nice rhythm to this whole thing. 
Now I gotta add some white to this blue as we go down below here. As I said earlier, I may have to add some white, clean white to my palette. I'm going to add a little light to this area up here. And I may have to go back because it's wet. So, just on this. I do have to get some clean light here. Eventually, because all of my white's colored now. So when I do the sky, I'll have to. And I could come back and add some, some clean paint to this if I lose some of it. But one thing you want to do is remember, don't overwork it. Don't keep going back into it. You go so far and you have to know when to stop. Okay? I, I really do need some light up here. A little bit of light in the sky, so. for it to dry a little bit. I do need to get some more white hair. Try that again. Get some light on my brushes, plain white. And we'll try it down here first to see how that blends. That blends pretty good. Alright. And I want to get some white up here. I just need some light up here. There we go. If I can do it with one brush stroke, that'd be good. But it doesn't look like I'm going to do that. One more shot. A little heavier. We have to let that dry. Okay. Clean the brush. And let's see, am I, I need a couple shots of uh, light up at the top. Light purple. Ah. Wrong one. Let's do it over here. A little purple and a little pink. Lots of light. Okay. Gotta clean the brush off again. And if I could, I'm just gonna use water to soften this here a little bit. Okay, we got a lot of movement in the sky. That's what I want. I still want to soften that edge there. So, try cleaning the brush again. And if I could, without touching the rest of it, just touch the edge a little bit to soften it. Try 
of pure white, pearl wire. Shut off of that, and I think we're ready for our treat. I'm going to take the angle brush here. You could use a pointy brush like this if you want it, but I'm going to use the angle brush, and then we're going to put in the trunks of our trees. I like to make brush strokes from left to right or right to left when I'm doing a straight line. So. I'm going to wet my brush, pick up another paper towel here to have on hand, and I'm going to take some of the dark phthalo green and mix it with the original mixture of the deep purple and green. Make sure I don't have too much on here. Get some of the heavy paint off the edge of my brush. Okay. And we're going to do a couple of tree trunks here. Start on the ground. And you lift your brush as you're finishing. This one's shorter. And one over here. Close enough. Stand these up here. And start at the bottom. Got a lot of paint on my brush. I think I'm going to try something like this. This time I'm going to go the opposite. Now it's sort of like a dry brush, so you put paint on your brush, then you then you wipe some of it off. Looks a little different than the original one, but I just sort of felt like alternating those uh, branches a little bit. And I can come back and hit these again later. Looks like we need a little more of this green in here. A little heavier. And down here a little heavier too. And near the center, we can make it a little heavier too. Okay, we're going to leave that as it is. This time we're going to start at the top on this one and we'll make this one a little bit more symmetrical. Sort of the same on both sides somewhat. The symmetrical may be easier to balance. Okay. No more green, a little more 
dark purple here. And we're going to come over and hit this one. That could be a little darker here. Same here. Try to keep this symmetrical. about finished here with the trees and we're just going to go in and get a couple stars in there and that'll be it. I think they're going to blend this bottom in here. Uh, okay, well, just blend it in a little bit. Okay, that's looking good. I think I want to darken up the trunk a little bit on this one here. Sure you can hit them all. Okay. Now we're ready for our stars. You can do this a couple different ways. You can just use the rounded pointy brush and add a couple small stars with the tip. Like so. Or you can take the back of your brush and put it right in the thick paint and we'll start up here. Twist it. Just put it in and twist it. It'll give you a nice round star if you like it to be symmetrical. And you will have to switch to a different brush to make smaller ones. You can put in as many or as few as you want. And you can place them. If you want to make the Big Dipper or Orion or any of them you want to, you could actually play games with that. And look at a picture of the constellations and add whichever ones you, what you like, your favorite constellations. Okay, they're looking pretty good. I'm going to try it with the same thing with the smaller end brush and see if we can... I'm going to use the back of this round brush here and see if we can get some smaller stars here. If they're a little bit smaller. Yeah, that works pretty good. Just touch and twist. And it wouldn't hurt to have some smaller ones. And if you want to push a couple back a little further, you might want to just take a mixture of white and purple make a light mixture here and that will push them back my brush is dirty from before with the green so I got to do that over because the color is dirty I'll just take the purple and some white okay and just trying to use the tip of the brush, so I'm squeezing it out. And these will go back further. My, my paint's wet, so it's a little tough to uh, to 
That'll make some of the stars look like they're further away. I could even add more purple to that. Push them way back. You could do them on the blue, or you could make a lighter, a lighter blue color. And I guess that's where we're at. And we are finished. And thank you for visiting us today at Peyton Party and hope to see you here soon.